beautiful King, excellent God, we bow before your throne, bow before your throne, worship at your feet, bow before your throne, worship at your feet, you are the glorious God. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for 340 days of provisions. We thank you for 340 days of protection. We thank you for 340 days of your unfailing love. We glorify you from January to this moment. You are a faithful God. You are a marvelous God. You are a wonderful God. You are the one that preserves us. You are the one that protects us. You are the one that provides for us. We give you glory. We are massively thankful, O Lord. Be thou exalted, O Lord. Be thou magnified. Be thou glorified. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for the grace to witness the last month in the year 2020. The special month of all months, the month of joy, celebration of the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for counting us worthy to be alive today. Thank you, Lord, for the present of the day, which is a gift from you. We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you adoration. Over our life, over our family, over our loved ones, we say glory be to your name. Glory be to your name. Glory be to your name. The book of Psalm, Psalm 68, 19 says, Blessed be the Lord our God, who daily loaded us with benefit. We are grateful for the benefit you bestowed upon us and our loved ones. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Calvary greeting to you and your family in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I trust that you and your loved ones are doing well by his grace. You shall continue to do well in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It is that time again. Time with Pastor Bola, time with God. Praise the Lord. Today's message is December family prayer. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. I want to use this opportunity to thank God for his grace. It has been a year since we started this program. And also, I want to thank you, all our viewers, for your support, for your comment, for your like, and everything. God bless you. Without God and you, there will be no us. Thank you, and may God continue to bless you richly. Amen. Hallelujah. I pray that this message will bring joy, celebration, restoration to your life and your family. In the name of Jesus, I welcome you to your season of celebration, the fine visitation and the fine gift from above. Hallelujah. This is a special month. The month that our Lord Jesus Christ come to this world to give us salvation. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. I know this year has been a challenge for all of us. But by his mercy, we are here and standing. Hallelujah. Despite the COVID-19 and other challenges we might be going through, the Lord kept us alive and made provisions for us and our family. Hallelujah. Amen, somebody. The Bible says in all circumstances, give thanks. That is the will of God in Christ Jesus. No matter what we're going through, once we are still alive, even if you are in the hospital, I know you are going to be healed. If you love, lost, lost loved one, God will comfort you. If you're going through any challenges, whatever is preaching you, whatever is worrying you, I want you to know, that God is there for you. Jesus came to the world because of you. And Jehovah will arise and make everything right in your life, in your family, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. My brothers and sisters, I want you to pray along with me. Amen. I pray that regardless of what is going on around you, nothing shall hinder your celebration this season. In the name of Jesus. I want you to say that to yourself. That nothing shall hinder my joy, my celebration this season. In the name of Jesus. Nothing shall hinder your peace. In the name of Jesus. Nothing shall hinder your healing if you are sick. In the powerful name of Jesus. 
Nothing will stop your good news. You shall receive good news in the powerful name of Jesus. Good things will come your way this season and beyond. In the powerful name of Jesus. This is your season of celebration. The season when our Lord Jesus Christ came to this world to redeem us from our sin. He came to reconcile us to, the, to our maker so that we can have everlasting joy. Amen, somebody, your joy shall overflow in the powerful name of Jesus. The season that you and your family shall be joyful and nothing shall steal your joy. In the name of Jesus, pandemic or no pandemic, no power, no sickness will steal your joy. In the powerful name of Jesus. Jesus came to terminate worldly problems. He came to turn your sorrow to joy. Hallelujah, somebody. Jesus came to turn your barrenness into fruitfulness. He came to turn your unrighteousness to righteousness. He came to take away your sickness and to give you good heart and sound mind. That is the purpose. Amen, somebody. That is why you have to rejoice. You have to celebrate in the name of Jesus because God is in control and he's going to take care of all those things for you in the powerful name of Jesus. That means to say from this moment, the all-powerful God we take away everything that does not glorify God in your life and in your family. In the powerful name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I want you to know, it, it doesn't matter your current situation. Your current situation that does not determine your destination. Hallelujah, somebody. The darkness may cover the whole world. Your light shall shine in the powerful name of Jesus. By the order of the word of God in Isaiah 60. Verses 1 to 2. Amen. Somebody said the darkness may cover the world. The gross darkness. That means that the storm, the pandemic, whatever that is, that is, but your light and the light of your family shall shine in the name of Jesus. Jesus came to the world to shine the light into your darkness. Hallelujah, somebody. Your light will shine and the darkness comprehended it not. That is the book of John 1 5. Amen. The word of God. Is true and is amen and yes. I want you to know, I want you to believe that, and I want you to claim it. Amen. Somebody that your your star, your destiny will shine, and no darkness can comprehend it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, somebody, amen. Which means to say, pandemic or no pandemic, COVID-19 or no COVID-19, storm or no storm, your light shall shine because Jesus is your light. John 1, 5. Amen, somebody. Jesus is your light. Hallelujah, somebody. Jesus was the true light which gives light to every man who comes into this world. Therefore, you shall accomplish purpose. Your family shall accomplish purpose in the name of Jesus. Because the light of God, wherever you go, the light of God will shine upon you. You will be the light of the world in the mighty name of Jesus. It doesn't matter what devil thinks. It doesn't matter what your enemies say. Your light will shine in the name of Jesus. The star of your children will shine in the powerful name of Jesus. So shall it be, so must it be in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, somebody. If Jesus came to give you gifts, is the Prince of Peace. He came to give you gift. Gift of peace, of joy, of prosperity, of healing, abundant blessing. He said it in the book of John 10, 10. He said the enemy come to destroy. Amen. To steal. He said, but I come so that you can have life, blessing, joy, and have it in abundance and salvation. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. That is the promise of God for you to have expected end. He said it in the book of Jeremiah. 29 11. He said, My plan for you is not of evil. It doesn't matter what is going on. This month, I want you to rejoice because God got your back. God is on your side. Amen, somebody. His plan for you shall stand. And he shall, he said, It's not of evil. It's of joy. It's of peace. It's of blessing for you to have expected them. Remember, He is the Alpha and Omega. He is the beginning and in the end. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. I decree and declare. That your light will shine, whether your enemy likes it or not. Amen, somebody. Whether your enemy likes it or not. The light of your family will shine. Hallelujah, somebody. I want you to say to yourself, say in this month of December and beyond, my light shall shine 
whether my enemy likes it or not. Whatever you confess, it shall be established for you. Amen, somebody. I want you to say, I receive my peace that passes human understanding. My household will receive the peace of God that passes all human understanding. Amen, somebody. I receive my joy, everlasting joy. Me and my family, joy, unspeakable joy, is our portion this month and beyond. In the name of Jesus. I will not lose my salvation. Jesus has given you salvation, and you will not lose it. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. Because he purchased you. He paid the price on the cross for you. Hallelujah. Amen, somebody. I receive my prosperity. Say it to yourself. Confess it. It doesn't matter. You still looking for that job? It's going it's to come. It doesn't matter about your situation now. I want you to be in faith. Amen. Don't walk with sight. Walk with faith. You receive, receive your prosperity. Say, I receive my prosperity. I receive my healing. It doesn't matter if you are in the hospital or the ventilation. Receive your healing. Say it. Confess it. Go out with Manifest it. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. Receive your divine partner. Your divine partner will locate you this month in the name of Jesus. Re reject violence and receive your fruitfulness. You will carry your own child. You will receive your, your own Samuel. Your own Rebecca is on the way. Hallelujah. Claim it. Receive it. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. I receive power to overcome. Overcome every storm. Over my marriage, every storm. Every storm of this world, I receive the power to overcome in the name of Jesus. My children shall wash great. They shall fulfill destiny. No power will cover their glory in the name of Jesus. My marriage is restored in the powerful name of Jesus. Every storm against my marriage, I, bid, I command them to cease. Say it. Command them to cease and they shall be ceased in the name of Jesus. I shall possess my possession. Whoever is sitting on your possession, God will overthrow them, and you shall possess your possession. Claim it. Hallelujah, somebody. Because this is your season. You have to rejoice. This is your season of celebration. Nothing will stop it. You are unstoppable. Hallelujah, somebody. Untimely death is not permitted in your household. Hallelujah. Untimely death is not permitted. Nobody will come to your house to say sorry this month and beyond. In the powerful name of Jesus. The Bible says, the young lion suffer hunger and the lack. Tell yourself, I shall not lack. I will live in abundance. Jesus said he came so that you can have life and have it in abundance. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. Claim it. Receive the wisdom. Say, I receive the wisdom from the above. Only God can give you the wisdom. The wisdom to do undoable. Amen, somebody. The wisdom to operate in extraordinary. Receive the wisdom in the name of Jesus. Tell yourself, I receive new ideas that will take me to the next level. My children will receive new ideas that will take them to the next level. Look at the, the, the man that did the Facebook. It was an idea. It was inspiration. Amen, somebody. Your children will receive an idea that will make, take them to the next level. Hallelujah. I shall move forward. I shall move upward. I shall move onward in the name of Jesus. Goodness and mercy of God shall overshadow me and my family in the name of Jesus. As you declare it, heaven will confirm it. Amen, somebody. Amen in the name of Jesus. Now I'm going to pray for you. I decree and declare, this season shall be your season. Season of no more affliction. Amen. You and your family shall rejoice forever. Hallelujah. You shall celebrate in the name of Jesus. Depression is over. Stagnation is over. Limitation is over. Sickness is over. Violence is over. Some in your marriage is over. Amen. In the name of Jesus, I stand on the rock. I depend on evil people over your life, over your family. I cancel it by the blood of Jesus. It will not stand. It will not have a root in the powerful name of Jesus. No weapon fashioned against you and your family shall prosper. In the powerful name of Jesus. Every negative declaration over your life, over your marriage, over your family, over your household is nullified by the blood of Jesus. Amen, somebody. I say it's nullified. No more breakdown. You shall break through. In the name of Jesus. Financially, spiritually, physically, you shall break through. In Jesus' name. All your labor from January shall turn to favor. Amen, somebody. 
Hallelujah. December 31st, when they can't leave it, you and your family will not be missing. In the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare to your life, God shall arise and open heaven for you and shower his blessing upon you. The blessing that we announce you to the whole world is your portion. He shall locate you, he shall locate your family in the name of Jesus. According to the book of Acts of Apostles, 1038, he said, How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with Holy Spirit and power, and how he went around doing good and healing all who are under power of the devil because God was with him. God will be with you. And this in this season, God will be with you. Beyond, God will be with you. Your blessing for 2020 will not be carried over to 2021. Hallelujah. God, Jesus, is still going around. And there shall be divine visitation in your life. There shall be divine visitation in your family, in your ministry, at your a place of work. There shall be divine visitation. In your at your business, there shall be divine visitation. Get ready for your celebration. Get ready for your miracle. Get ready for your breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Get ready for your new song. Hallelujah, somebody. You shall sing a new song and you shall dance a new dance. Your enemy will have no choice now to celebrate God in your life in the powerful name of Jesus. I pray that God will visit our community and turn this around. Hallelujah. God shall arise and terminate the COVID-19 in the powerful name of Jesus. He will protect our essential workers and their family. In the name of Jesus, it shall comfort those that lost a loved one during this pandemic. In the name of Jesus, it shall heal those that are sick. Whether you are in the hospital or you are home, you shall be healed. In the name of Jesus, the mighty healer will heal you. In the name of Jesus, I pray that God shall arise and turn this around in our nation. In the name of Jesus, I pray that Jesus will visit our world and let there be revival. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord God, let there be revival. Let the fire of revival fall upon our world. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, our heavenly Father, let your kingdom come and let them be turned around in the whole world. In the name of Jesus, praise you, we praise you, Lord. We exalt your holy name because you always answer us. You are God that answered by fire. Thank you, mighty Jehovah. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. Amen and amen. You are blessed and you are highly favored. As you listen to this message, be a blessing to others and share it. God bless you.